Y'all know the name. What's going on guys, my name is Martino and welcome back to Football Manager 2017. So, getting back into this previous episode, we beat Bristol City and we beat Barnsley. So back to back wins and it has put us up into fifth. As you can see from the fixtures though, we've got a pretty tough game coming up. We're going away to Derby, they sit just ahead of us. However, they have lost their last two if... Uh, memory serves right. Let's just take a look and see what their form's like. Where is it? There it is. Yep, they lost the last two. So they lost away to Cardiff and away to Reading. But they haven't been beaten at home yet. Uh, have they dropped any? Uh, have they dropped any points at home? Let's just have a let's just have a quick peeky poo and see if they've dropped any points at home. Uh, league table. Uh, overall home record. Let's see. So we've got. We've got the best home record in the league, which is good. Uh, but Derby sit third in that table. And no, didn't want that. Wanted this. Away record. We're not doing very well. <laughs> five games played with 1-1 one, one drawn, 1-1 one lost, 3. Scored 5, conceded 7. But we're doing okay. However, I think if you saw uh, just there, our next match is 14 days away. So Bradley Johnson's out. We've lost him for three. Yeah, we lost him in the last episode to a broken ankle, so he's going to be missing for three months. So we're not going to see him now until after Christmas, maybe after the end of the transfer window. So disappointing, very disappointing. But we're going to move on. So what I want to do now is I'm going to jump ahead to the actual fixture itself, and then we're going to play out Derby, and then we're going to do Wigan, which is three days later. So, quick turnaround, but hopefully for the Derby game, we'll be able to get some of the players rested. They should all be all fit and raring to go in time for that game. So, I'll catch up with you in a moment. Okay, so we're back, and here we are on the day of the game. Our way to Derby County. Pretty big game for us, fourth versus fifth, so it is going to be... A tough encounter. Before that, however, um, in the two weeks between when we started the episode and now, um, I've had a bit of an argument with Rafa Benitez over this guy. Uh, where is he? Where is it? Why is that like that? Uh, yeah, this guy. He's not getting enough thirty. Well, tough tits because you know he's not getting enough football because he's just been fantastic. You know, he's been absolutely amazing. Probably my best signing of the season so far. And he was a snip at 1.1 million, I think. I think he's going to turn out to be a great player. Um, international games. England didn't do brilliantly, if I'm honest. I don't know how to get to that. Um, I honestly don't know how to get I've just got to find a fucking English player, aren't I? Yeah, you're English, aren't you? No, you're Welsh. Uh, who's English? Bit, there we go. Uh, so, schedule... They drew away to Scotland, which was disappointing, but they hammered Malta 3-0. Alana Kane and Ali on the score sheet, and Malta went down to 10 men for good measure as well. Uh, but yeah, that was pretty much it from the England front. Um, other good news on the oh sorry on the international front, uh, Hadi Sacco got his first cap. Uh, Dallas bagged a goal for uh, Northern Ireland, and the other good news is Pablo Hernandez has returned to training. So. Hopefully, he'll be coming back in soon. It's not going to be... I don't think it's going to be too long. I might put him in the squad and give him a run out in Delvey. I'm thinking it might be a little bit too soon since so he's just got back into it. Uh, but, I don't know, he looks good. His, his uh, condition's good and his match sharpness isn't too bad either. So, he might be worth putting in there on the bench. Just to have that little extra option as well, considering we've just lost this guy also. Um, uh, the other thing... We just can have a look at the other leagues as well, because that's the one thing I forgot to do at the start of the episode. To kind of really get you caught up. So, uh, starting with a league up, uh, Atletico Madrid, Real Madrid, kind of walking away from the rest of them. Sevilla, they're seven points behind. Barcelona are even further back. So that's not happening. That's not going very well for Barca. Uh, in Bundesliga, it's pretty tight at the top. Only uh, what three points separating the top four. And Leverkusen top the pile in the Premier League. Few surprises. Arsenal lead the league by seven, a full seven points over Stoke. And then you got Watford in third, and West Ham are up there, and 
Those two, uh, let's see, Chelsea and Liverpool are there. Spurs are not having a good season so far. Everton have an even worse season so far. Uh, Champions Leicester, they're stuck around about mid-table. Uh, Syria, um, Inter Milan, ahead of Juventus by four points. And then you've got Sassuolo. Bit of a surprise there from those guys. Keep hearing about them, considering Leeds are linked pretty much with every Italian in the universe when it comes to transfers. Uh, League One, um, well, Liga One, uh, Paris Saint-Germain sit top of the pile ahead of just another surprise package, FC uh, Lorient. And you've got Monaco, Nice, Leon, Angers. They anger quickly. And then in Russia, we've got Zenit St. Petersburg, CSK in Moscow, the usual suspects, Rubin, Kazan, Spartak, Moscow. They're all up there. So, yeah, that's the uh, that's the other leagues in focus there. So, now we're going to move on to ourselves. Because, as I said, we've got a big game against... Oh, well, he's banned. I was kind of having a look at him. He looks, he looks like he could be a player. But, anyway, we're going to move on. So, yeah, playing Derby. Um, Hernandez has passed the fitness test. Let me see. I, you know what? I am going to put him on the bench. I am going to put him on the bench. I think that's. I think that'll be good for him, to be honest, to get him kind of back in the swing of things. I think I'm going to get rid of O'Kane, and I'm going to use him as our second uh, winger type guy because we can't use him anymore. He's gone. Um, yeah, we'll leave it. We'll leave it like that. I think that's the. I think that's the way to go. I think. Because I want to get more, I want to get Vieira some more minutes as well, in there. But squad looked fantastic. The uh, we're all up and running, ready to go. Berardi hopefully is getting back to full fitness again. Antonsen will continue because he's uh, having some really good form lately. Appiah stays in, so it's good to have Hernandez on the bench because he can come in straight for Appiah if need be. Uh, but that's the team then. So uh, Green, Berardi, Bartley, Jansen, um, Chavi. Uh, noble Jass, Noble Ass. <laughs> so we're just going to call him Chavi. Uh, Bridcut, Moat, Sacco, Apia, Roof, and Antonsen for our game away to the Sheep Shaggers. Sorry if you're a Derby fan, but you've got a sheep on, on the front of your uh, thing. Don't call it a ram. It's not a ram, it's a sheep. It's a fucking sheep. And it's also the Brian Clough Derby as well, because Cloughy was with us for, you know, all of 10 minutes, <laughs> and then he went to Derby. And did very good things there. So, um, Cyrus Christie is the one you've got to watch out for. The key man. And Carl Bartley is the one on the other end. Fancy leads to win this one. People will argue a poor away form, which we have. Derby have really been struggling with that. So, Derby have lost the last two in a row. We're crap away from home. Should be an interesting game. Let's jump into it. So, we'll apply that advice. I'm happy with that. So, let's just... Uh, no, let's just... Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Ooh, that was loud in my headphones. So, yeah, here we go. Away to Derby. Pride Park. Lady United versus the Sheep Shaggers. Sheep, sheep, sheep shaggers. Sheep, sheep, sheep shaggers. <laughs> Sorry again if you're a Derby County fan. I can't help myself. Well, like I'm the only... That leads to the only team in the country that calls you Sheep Shaggers. Everybody in the country. Everybody in any other country as well. There you go. There's a sheep there. Right, so not much happening early on. Excuse me for a second. <sighs> Can't be an ice cold can of Lucasade. Finding Lucasade in cans is like finding rocking horse shit. It really is. But I love it. Right, come on. Come on. Get the ball. Get the ball. Get the ball. Vidra, though, is. Um, this is also a meeting of the two top scorers in the league because. Uh, both Vidra and um, our guy, Marcus Antonsen, are sitting top of the scoring charts with eight goals apiece, along with uh, there's Glenn Murray in there, and there's also another one. Got Roof, bang it. Yes! Come on! Kivar Roof scores his fourth goal of the season, and we lead away. Come on, boys. That's what I wanted. So, here we go. I thought up here, kind of balls it up. It didn't take a little bit of a, a nudge, but Roof got in there. Get past his man, set himself. Just a nice teasing low drive. Scott Carson, former Leeds keeper, can't get there. Bottom corner. Darby nil leads one. 
So, yeah, Derby City just ahead of us, as I mentioned. So if we win this and all the results go away, we could find ourselves sitting in the automatic promotion places behind um, Sheffield Wednesday. So an all Yorkshire top two could be by the end of this game, providing we, you know, don't do what we normally do, which is shit the bed and make a load of mistakes. Yeah, that's it. That's it, son. All right, come on, just take your time. Yeah, because hopefully if things go well, if I'm 2-0 up at any point in the second half, then I'm going to bring... Ooh, I'm going to bring... Um, I'm going to bring Han uh, Hernandez on. Yeah, I want Pablo to come on. Get him a bit of game time, get him back in the swing of things, because as, as good as a peer has been, Hernandez is Hernandez, so he's going to be our, our first choice for that position behind the striker. Right then, uh, players are always room for improvement, especially from you... Come on, and you. I've got faith in you guys. Come on, you got to do better. you got to do better, guys, you lot. So, yeah, we're not, uh, we're not looking uh, too bad at the moment. We're leading, you know, and Appears having a good game, and Roof having a good game as well. But we need to turn the screw a little bit, I think. Just uh, get that second goal, put this game out of reach so I can start kind of uh, bringing other guys on and uh, giving them some game time and hopefully resting some of the the main first teamers because we've got another game against Wigan three days from now fucking fixture list so we're going to have to be wary of that and wary of this corner as well ball in oh fucking how Johnny Russell you weird headed little fuck boy sorry Johnny Russell but I hate anybody who scores against us. Fucking marking was shocking. So cross it near post. Who's this? No one marking him at all. Just teases it. And he just stood there like, oh, what's up? Oh, what? what happened? Chave, you're better than that, bro. Disappointing. Disappointing. But now, probably going to be under the cosh for the rest of this half because that's going to give him the, that's going to give him the kick up the backside they need to try and put the. Uh, Put the hurting on his. Oh, Antos is not having a brilliant game, is he? It's not. Let's uh, see the instructions here. Let's uh, work that into the box and um, stay on your feet. I don't want you diving in. Okay, let's get that right then. Um, shit, I had to make a change, didn't I? We'll see what happens with this. Here. Come on, come on, do something, do stuff, do stuff, do goal stuff. Poor ball, poor ball. That's it. Get up there. Got to roof you through. You through, son. Finish it. Shit. Right. Gonna make some changes. So, Brid Cut, you're gonna come off for Ronaldo Vieira. Uh, a peer. So actually, no. We're gonna leave a peer on. We're gonna bring um, a hand is on. Sacco, see if he can conjure something up for us. And Anselm's even shit, so you're going to be playing in that target man role. Support. Uh, let me see. What's your best position? If that is playmaker, support. Yep, that's fine. Nope. Support. And Ronaldo Vieira, you are better as deep line playmaker in the defend role. So. Triple substitution. And he's been he was moaning about getting more first team chances, so now he's got one. He's gotta come he's gotta come and perform, get us a winner. But you know, e even if we do draw and it's looking like we are, I won't be too disappointed because it means we would have gone seven unbeaten at this point. Now So providing we don't do something monumentally stupid like concede is seven unbeaten and uh, fucking nothing shot really wasn't it come on get the fucking ball out come on we've got 30 seconds let's make something happen come on wood get up there son jason shackle you dirty bastard i think that might just be about the end of it if i'm honest come on Jansen. fucking hell clock's ticking mate hurry up 
Well, we got a draw. We got a draw. Disappointed to concede, especially in that manner because the marking was crap. But coming into this game away to Derby, while they had been on a bad run of form, I think a draw is a fair, fairish result because we weren't like we weren't all over them, were they? Um, to be honest, but very happy with him. You were fantastic today. You were very good also. Um, you were a bit disappointing, if I'm perfectly honest with you. Uh, pleased. You were fucking shit. That was your performance today. See, Dan and Pressure. Oh, fuck you then. Oh, we're going to leave Sacco alone. We'll leave, we'll leave the rest of them alone, but... Yeah, I think that game was definitely there to win. You know, we had more possession, more shots, not so many on target. Again, <laughs> 17 fouls. But that means we dropped to 8th with that draw. No, it doesn't. We drew that game. We should be up in... We got, we got 22 points, so we got, what, goal difference of 6. So we'll be, we'll be in 5th still, I think. Yeah, I think we should be in 5th still. We shouldn't be in 8th. That's hog shit. Right. Takes a hit, yeah, but... We've had, we maintained our unbeaten record. That's good. That's a good thing for us. And Kimo Roof got another goal, so he's got four this season, and we're seven unbeaten, which is good. Um, in the Skybet Championship. Why are we in eighth? We, I swear to God, didn't we have? I'm pretty sure we had 21 points, didn't we? Or did we have 20? Am I being an idiot? Well, look, it doesn't really matter. We're eighth, and it's disappointing, yes. But we're going to be facing this one at home in a couple of days' time, and a win could still get us right the way up there into second place. But it's going to be tough to catch Sheffield Wednesday because they are rocking at the moment by the looks of it. So uh, I'm going to catch you in a moment when we'll be right there ready for the game against Wigan. Okay, so welcome back. So here we are on the eve of the game at home to Wigan. So news. Um, first one, probably see this, the big glaring redness around Bridcourt means he is in fact suspended. So five yellow cards I think he's had. Um, yep, yeah, five yellows. So... He's going to have to come out. Now, I'm a little bit apprehensive about putting Vieira in, but I think it's going to be good for him, if I'm perfectly honest, because I need to I need to get him in there and blood him and, you know, give him more first-team football than he's currently been getting. Um, I can also bring Ailing back onto the bench as well, which will be good. Uh, we've got... I mm, don't know. Anselson had a bad game last time. I admit that. But he is going to stay in there for the time being. And also, I think I'm going to bring Pablo Hernandez on. And you're going to play um, in the support role behind Antonsen. Again, he's got to be limited to 60 minutes. So hopefully we can get a couple of goals in nice and early. So he can just enjoy the game and I can bring him off. And we're not going to have... I don't really want to be making substitutions while I'm chasing a game, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, other than that, everything else pretty much will stay exactly the same. Um, I'll be keeping an eye on Antonsen with the with a view to bringing Chris Wood on. Because he's been moaning about first team football. But I don't want to change it just yet because, well look at it, Chris Wood's got four goals, he's got ten. It's not really a big decision to make, in all honesty. So, there's the team selection done. Um, Moa and Vieira, oh that's the one thing I've got to do, got to change up Vieira because he prefers to be there in the defend role, so that's good, so hopefully those two can shield the back four, cause some trouble themselves, break up play, oh also the other thing I forgot to mention, had a little talk with, with uh, Zinedine Zidane about um, Hamoso, about him not going first team football, to which point I said well he's shit, so he's not going to get any, and he said okay, and that was that, so here we go then. We're unbeaten seven. And there are a couple of players to watch out for. Jordi Gomez, of course. Nick Powell, who I was really hoping these would actually sign in the summer. I don't know why. He was a free transfer. Douchebags. Um, Michael Jacobs is a good player. Uh, Stephen Warnock, former Leeds player, of course. His departure obviously brought through um, Charlie Taylor. And then we've got Will Grigg, who has his own song and a beard. But see, it's there. So yeah, they're not doing too well, but... We really are going to have to make sure we don't get complacent. Because while I don't want to say that we should be winning it, um, and I want us to go and win, but I don't want complacency. 
that's the last thing I want because it's very easy in games like this to go in thinking oh they're a bit shit we're gonna walk over and we won't have to put much effort in and it, and you'll just you lose so I mean and their position doesn't really say what I honestly think about their squad I think that squad's really good they've got a good striker a good left winger they've got a couple of good centre midfielders so we are gonna have to work for this hopefully Moat and Vieira are gonna win the battle with Paul Gomez and hopefully Hernandez is going to produce a little bit of Spanish magic for us. A little Matador back in the first team squad for his first start since returning from injury. There's a little twinkle toes, Sacco. There's Moat. Keeping the ball well. Antonsen, why would you do such a thing? Right, don't go diving in, Xavi, don't go diving in, just stand him up and take the ball off him. Okay, push him back. That's it. Good tackle, Hernandez. Go on, Antonsen. Give it the beans. Oh. Um, ginger boy, Adam Bogdan collects. Damn it. It was an okay start. It was a good start. Keeping the ball, keeping the ball well, but need that cutting edge. Sheffield Wednesday leading against Cardiff, so it looks like they're going to continue their march towards possible promotion and Premier League football. And they're two nil up. And Barnsley are drawing against uh, Newcastle. Come on, boys! Fuck's sake, do something! Bored sitting here watching this. Like a fucking PowerPoint presentation. Come on! Right then. Not doing very well. Defence is doing well, but we are not. So, um, I want to win today. We've got to have it. We've got to have that win. I'm keeping an eye on Hernandez. And I've definitely got one eye firmly on Marcus Antonsen because he didn't do bugger all last game and he doesn't look like he's going to do anything this game. But again... I'd be happy to be mistaken on that front. I would happily correct myself. Sacco, come on, turn him and go. Ball in. Oh, get it! <laughs> yes! Oh, Adam Bogdan, what were you doing, mate? Oh, it was a gift. If it had stood on his line, he would have caught that, but I don't know why he was coming for it. So... It was so far out. I don't know why he was trying to come for it there. Let's just have a look at the replay. It's so far out and it's dropping like not even in the six yard box. What he's doing out there, I don't know. But I'm not complaining. Little Ginger has done us a favour. And we lead 1-0 against Wigan. Yes. So that's a good start to the half. Hopefully we can kick on. Not do anything stupid. Oh, Christ almighty. Good hands, Rob. Good hands. Father fucking time. Got some good hands on him. But Anderson's back in there. Anderson's is very much a poacher, isn't he? Oh, Jesus. Chevy, why aren't you shooting from there? Someone shoot. Oh, came on, Roof. Goal number five of the season. Back to back goals. And it's 2 0. Yes, come on. So it looks like it's going to be eight unbeaten. It was good. I was cursing Chavi just then because I thought, you know what, you, you, you're in the danger area. Have a, have a dig. Have a go yourself, mate. Hernandez just taps it off. Marking's a bit slack. Keep our roof. Quality finish. Get us on his right peg. Bottom corner. Boom. Leads two. Wigan nil. So it looks like, the, uh, looks like Wigan's going to be going home very unhappy, which I don't care about because... I'm going to be very, very happy come the end of this episode. So, about about 60 minutes. I believe it's 65 minutes for Hernandez. And I think I might make a change for Moat as well. So, if I do it now, we should hopefully get them on. So, Moat, you're going to make way for Diego Poyet. Um, yeah, you're already in your preferred role. And up here, you're going to come on for Hernandez. And you're going to go back to your regular Shadow Striker role. Hopefully give a bit of support to Antonsen. Anyone else looking a bit worse for wear? Mm, Janssen and Bartley a little bit, but 
Mm, I haven't really got anybody on there. So there's stuff to suffer. I want to see a good performance from you, and I think there's a lot more to come from you as well. So we've got 25 minutes left. Double substitution. Got one of the back. I'm not going to make the same mistake I did last time by <laughs> making three subs. Although it didn't really, it didn't really make any difference last time. I made three subs. Someone got injured, and we went on after going down to 10 men, and we won the game. Right. See the two in the up, and these two are looking a bit worse for wear. Who else? Uh, Vieri could stay on. I think it's Bartley I'm a bit more worried about. So I'm gonna have to I'm just gonna have to bring you on there. I don't know why his stats are so crap. But he played central defence for us. He did okay in real life, didn't he? When he was covering for um Who was he covering for? He was covering for Jansen, wasn't he? And he was suspended. So very close. Gotta make sure we don't concede. I don't want to concede. There you go, Vieira. Oh, can we? No, okay. That's fine. That's fine. One. We got the win. Yes. Leeds 2, Wigan 0. Good performance. The first half wasn't, but it was a good win. Um, good win today, there, boys. Good job. Booked our ideas up in the second half. Those two goals, relatively quick succession. He was fantastic. Uh, calm. You did well out there. Sacco did well out there. Janssen also was very, very good. Sort of reaction I was after in the second half from you. Everybody did pretty good, to be honest with you. There we go. There's the possession. So keeping possession again. <laughs> A lot of fouls. A lot of fouls. And two bookings, Vieira, Barardi. But that moves us up into seventh. So results not quite going our way in the way I would have hoped. I would have hoped to have been. We started the episode in fifth, and we haven't lost. We've drawn one and won one, and we've somehow gone backwards. So there you go, football, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and this is the guy I mentioned the asset episode I was looking at, Kasper Kusk. He looks like he could be a very good player. Might go and get him because he looks relatively cheap. It's just the wages there a little bit. Mm. But there we go. So uh, yeah, we got the win, and Kimo Roof back to back man in the match awards as well for him. But that is the end of the episode. So, um, well, before we go, let's just have a look at the other results. Just so we keep a good idea of the actual... Because we've got a good idea of the table, but let's have a look at the results. So, Newcastle beat Barnsley. Um, we'll focus on the teams up around here. So, Cardiff, Blackburn, stuff like that. So, um, let's see. Toddersfield won. We won. Uh, Norwich won. They're up in second now. Uh, Derby get back to winning ways. Sheffield Wednesday just narrowly get by Barry Banan with a 90th minute goal, you cheeky Scottish fucker. Um, then Blackburn won. So, yeah. That was good. Had a bad day, Sol Bamba. Pretty sure I'm glad we got rid of him. His stats don't look that bad, so I'm kind of disappointed that we haven't got him and Belushi as well. So I would have liked to have both of them in the squad. Just have options. But yeah, we sit 7th. So, won 7, drawn 3, lost 3. Goal difference of 8. And we're unbeaten in 8 games now. I think that's what it's going to show us in a moment. On the inbox. Uh, yeah, we're unbeaten in 8 games now. Which is good. But yeah, that definitely is the end of the episode. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. If you did enjoy and you want to see more of my managerial odyssey with the Legion United pushing towards promotion. Then please hit that like button. It means a lot to me. So... Hit it, punch it, kick it, nut it, knee in the bollocks. Whatever you got to do, just hit that like button. Uh, subscribe for more daily content. As I said, apologies, there wasn't a video yesterday. Uh, sorry, not a video yesterday. Sorry, there wasn't a video on Tuesday. But there we go, guys. So um, thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you did enjoy and you would like to see more of my managerial odyssey, then please don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps and it really supports my channel. So thank you in advance. Uh, subscribe for more daily content. Again, um, we're going to have... Tomorrow, we're going to have... Ooh, sorry, hit my pop filter. <laughs> we're going to have uh, Formula 1 tomorrow, so it's going to be round 9. And I'm taking a long time with that, but it is taking quite a long time to record and edit that kind of se uh, series. So, apologies for that, but that will be coming up tomorrow. And then we're going to have another double dose of Resident Evil on Saturday and Sunday. Scary weekend. Scary Saturday, scary Sunday. But yeah, subscribe, hit like. Thanks for watching again. And as always, 
I will catch you on the flip side where we're still unbeaten. Peace! Oh, you're a bad shot, Oh, no! 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 Come here, you fucker! Oh, that's not cool! You're such a meanie! I want to go shoot your grandma in the face! Oh. I like you! I don't like you! Oh, my staples! <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, well, I'm dead.